All right, Salaam Alaikum everyone. We are back again with March 2023, paper 22, question number one. In case you haven't seen my previous listen on this, I'll add the link in the description. Be sure to view that listen because that contains a lot of background information regarding this particular case. So we have now part C and part D and we are going to start off with part C, analyze two non-financial motivators that FF could use to motivate its fruit pickers. And the same advice that I would give again is that when you're reading this question in the case, in the case uh, study or your exam, try to mention whatever non-financial motivators you can think of. For example, team working, worker participation, change in leadership styles, job redesigning, whatever you can think of, so that when you're reading the case, it's easier for you to apply. So for example, I write about training. For example, I write about worker participation. For example, I write about team working, etc. And then I'll see if I can apply any of these particular points, knowledge points onto the case material. Likewise, evaluate the likely impact on FF stakeholders of improving the sustainability of operations. Now, sustainability is a topic that has been included from the examination 2023 and point onwards. So then again, mention a few stakeholders such as community, such as banks, such as owners, businesses, as in your customers, in this case would be businesses and so on and so forth. And then when you're reading the case, try to associate which stakeholder do you think would have the biggest impact or which stakeholder can you associate with having the most impacts of the decision to move towards sustainable operations. All right. So the case study mentions that motivation amongst the fruit pickers is poor. The fruit pickers main concerns are poor induction for new employees. Now, if you remember, I was telling you that you can mention content points so that you when you're reading the case you can easily apply so since the question asks us to recommend to suggest some non-financial factors you can perhaps make an entire paragraph on training because you can clearly see that there's poor induction poor introductory training for the new employees and then the case moves on and tells you that there is no encouragement of multi-skilling and there's an autocratic management style. So if you look again to the points that you extracted, you talked about worker participation. Perhaps here, worker participation with respect to fruit pickers can be a good method to improve overall motivation as well. And while we are at it, let's go through the case information that is relevant to part D as well. So I'm going to take this in brackets and write this information is relevant to part C and then take this in brackets and then write this information is relevant to part D. So that even if I have to read the case again, I know which particular piece of information or pieces of information are of utmost relevance to me. So the food industry has recently been criticized for a lack of sustainability. So this criticism may be coming from the local community or the consumers at large. Then again, giving you a stakeholder that you can, that you can mention in your answers later on. In response, FS directors plan to move from single use plastic packaging to using recycled materials. So you are clearly changing the way you do things. And since you are clearly changing the way you do things, your employees are likely to be impacted because they would have to learn as to how to use recycled materials and not just employees. If you were using plastic packaging before and now you're going through recycled materials, another stakeholder that would be severely impacted by this would be your suppliers as well. Why? Because your existing suppliers will be supplying you materials related to plastic. But now, you would have to find new suppliers. So existing suppliers are likely to be at a drawback. And new suppliers selling you recycled materials are obviously going to be in a stronger position to negotiate prices because they will be having something that you need and they may charge higher prices for it. Okay, this would require the purchase of new machinery to package the fruit. This can clearly be associated with 
let's say for example the owners because they would have to put in more finance the machinery would make the packaging production more capital intensive then again related with your employees when you'll move from labor intensive to capital intensive there are going to be two things number one there can be opportunities for your existing employees to learn new skills but at the same time there are going to be redundancies as well because employees may not be needed in the same quantity as they were before because most of your tasks will be done by machinery so the impact on employees are significant as well fs directors are also considering growing fruits that require fewer chemicals and less water then again your suppliers will be called into question because you would need fertilizers or pesticides that are environmentally friendly and that have lesser chemical content and require less water to be used however this will require changes to ff supply chain management the case itself tells you and gives you a hint that okay fine your existing suppliers may not be suitable anymore and in all of this story that we've read you can clearly see that you are a business that was selling to different businesses right for example supermarkets and we all know for a fact that whatever whatever is environmentally friendly does not come cheap such as the products that you can see for example if you talk about body shop it says that we use organic materials and recyclable packaging and xyz and xyz and xyz and you can see that it's relatively pricier than the other brands so whatever uses sustainable operations whatever business uses sustainable operations it does not come cheap so you are basically selling to businesses which are selling to consumers like us so businesses buying from you apparently would have to experience an increase in cost and they would want to transfer the burden of increased cost on to consumers in the form of higher prices but this may not be possible if consumers do not respect or do not value environmental sustainability as such i will only pay a higher price for a product that uses recyclable materials if i am concerned about the environment but then again the case does indicate the case does indicate that the food industry has recently been criticized which can mean that fine there may be some resistance coming from the consumers as well indicating that businesses may not be at that much of a disadvantage if consumers are willing to pay higher prices all right so we have brainstormed this particular information in the most effective manner possible let's move on to part c and let me guide you as to how you will answer it how many paragraphs will you make and the distribution of the assessment objectives namely knowledge application analysis and evaluation so for part c this will be the structure that i tell my students that you can make three paragraphs with first paragraph containing the definition of motivation or let's say non financial motivators it's up to you then method 1 for example training and then method 2 for example worker participation and remember that in an eight mark question you do not need to evaluate your answer so for example if the question asks you how will it motivate so if you are just stating that this would lead to this and this and you're just stating the benefits as to how it will motivate that might also suffice and that might also be enough there is not a significant need for you to mention the drawbacks as well if you complete the chain of analysis with respect to benefits that's more than enough okay so this will be your answer structure the assessment skills as you can see knowledge 2 marks application 2 marks and analysis is of 4 marks there are no marks for evaluation so i've seen most students just summarizing whatever they've written above in the last paragraph or evaluating that the most important non financial method would be do not do this because you do not have time number 1 and there are no marks and time is money in paper 2 to be very honest So what would be your paragraph structure for example if i say that these two paragraphs are of the main body how would you go on about writing this particular paragraph so for example your content can include these three different points for the sake of an example i'm going to use these two points and i'm going to first you first explain you as to how will you structure your paragraph so for, first of all 
you're going to mention your knowledge that is you're going to identify your method then you talk about how would that method fit into the context of the business so you your staff right now is are basically fruit pickers right so if you mention training or if you mention let's say worker participation what would be the ideas that your fruit pickers might give you what kind of discussions will you have with your fruit picking staff that would be your application right now whatever you've mentioned here and re related to the business here how would that improve the motivation of your staff and once your staff motivation is improved how would that be a benefit to the business so this is how you're going to structure the paragraph of the main body and in order to facilitate you better i have given an example as well so for example let's say we start off with increased worker participation can be a way of motivating staff at ff okay and now i'm going to relate it with the context of the business and how do i relate it i've mentioned that since workers are demotivated due to the autocratic management style application their views can be taken regarding the best time to harvest application or the type of fertilizers to use then again application so i'm talking in context of the business and even if let's say someone out there had my answer and was going through my answer and he did not know and he has not read the material of the data response he has not read the insert and he just reads my answer so from here till here he can easily identify she can easily identify what is the business in the data response that is application because the moment he reads or she reads harvest fertilizers he or she can clearly make a sense okay fine this is a farming business so this is what application means now for the third step how would this motivate staff so this will make staff feel more valued as their opinions will be considered and will work hard to make ff successful and how would the employee working hard or employee being motivated be a benefit to ff staff is less likely to get absent which would result in higher productivity for ff making it more efficient or you can also write that staff is like le less likely to make mistakes in their work because they'll be more motivated which will result in less wastages thereby increasing profits so you can develop the last chain of analysis as per your own discretion and just to make sure that you have understood the answering in detail i'm going to leave you with an exercise this is another method that is induction training you have the case with you write in the comments as to how will you develop the entire chain of analysis when it comes to this point and i have done two stages of this particular paragraph let me know in the comments what would your stance be all right so let's move on to part d let's read the question once again evaluate the likely impact on ff stakeholders mind you students that the focus of analysis the focus of analysis is not on ff so do not commit this blunder the focus of analysis is not on ff it's actually on the stakeholders so if i am let's say for example mentioning the community do not fall into the trap of telling that perhaps community will be pleased and therefore can you know convince other customers to pay higher prices for fs products which will lead to more revenue xyz do not do this because the impact needs to be discussed on ff stakeholders obviously if you're mentioning owners that might be another story altogether but then again if you're mentioning other stakeholders such as let's say for example other businesses or you're mentioning suppliers then you have to stick to the particular stakeholder that you're talking about because that is your focus of analysis on improving the sustainability of operations so how would you go with part d so part d is an evaluative question and if you are confused as to how should i evaluate my answers there's another video that you can watch and it is likely to help you a lot based on students feedback after paper 1 i've received a lot of comments that and a lot of feedback that that video was really useful and has actually helped to 
master and to strengthen the evaluative skills so we have knowledge for two marks application for two marks analysis for two marks and evaluation for six marks how are you going to go about the answer structure this will be your answer structure so you'll have a conclusion you'll have stakeholder one stakeholder two here and you'll have a definition as well of stakeholders obviously and you're going to evaluate or write your evaluative comments alongside so evaluation throughout and then evaluation in the end as well and possible stakeholders in this case will be suppliers customers community employees owners you can even talk about competitors perhaps banks it's completely up to you but try to pick the stakeholders that you can perhaps write the best about pick those stakeholders that you feel have the largest amount of information in the case that you can apply on all right so let's say for example if i talk about customers and in this case because the business operates in industrial market if i talk about businesses i did discuss that these particular recyclable materials are going to be expensive so it's going to increase the cost the same analysis that we just did here so businesses would be discouraged to buy from ff if they are not favoring sustainability so that's the same analysis that i've written here that recyclable packaging may be more costly and that would eventually result in ff's products becoming expensive for businesses and in order to balance out this drawback businesses would need to transfer the burden of increased cost onto consumers and you develop this chain but then again the extent to which this particular problem when influenced businesses will depend on you evaluate your point the expectations of final consumers so if if final consumers are actually supporting sustainability are actually supporting environmentally friendly production methods then they may be prepared to pay price premiums they may be prepared to pay higher prices as well and likewise it would also depend on the cost of recyclable materials which in this case seems to be absent perhaps it would be costly in the short run but in the long term can result in cost savings so you evaluate your point side by side once you developed a chain of analysis then you go on and mention the evaluative comments also you can also write about this point as well that plastics may be more durable in protecting fruits and the recyclable materials may not be of the same quality which would mean that once businesses buy such as supermarkets buy from ff they may be damaged in transit or they may be damaged as they are presented in the shop which could result in greater expenses for the businesses all right then for example you were to discuss another stakeholder i would suggest discussing about suppliers because the case clearly indicates that there would be changes case clearly indicates that there will be changes to ff supply chain management so how would you go on, on with your suppliers you are going to use the same points that were discussed in the earlier section of this particular lesson so you your existing suppliers would be in trouble and why would they be in trouble because they may not be having sustainable materials to supply you with so it's going to damage relations and not only that you're going to find new suppliers since you need to change your supply chain and new suppliers may quote higher prices because they know that they are selling you something that's more sustainable so ff will be caught in a trap but you do not have to discuss the impact on ff because you have to just stick towards your suppliers and the same approach once you have discussed this then you evaluate it as well you can also mention about employees that employees will get an opportunity to learn new skills but at the same time employees will have fear over job security because machinery would eventually replace the labor and they will be made redundant so that is also something that you can discuss you can also make a paragraph on employees as well you can also make a paragraph on community as well it's completely up to you choose the stakeholders that you seem to describe the best now how would you conclude such a question the question states evaluate the likely impact on ff stakeholders so you have discussed two stakeholders let's say you've discussed businesses as in your customers and you've discussed your suppliers now in the conclusion you are going to mention amongst these two stakeholders which stakeholder do you think will be the will be the one that will be impacted the most and why do you think like that 
so for example if i am picking let's say for example the customers why do i feel customers would be at a bigger disadvantage than your suppliers so in conclusion what you are going to mention is which stakeholder amongst the two mentioned above will be most impacted by ff's move towards sustainability and why do you think like that because you need to show priority also if let's say you say that suppliers will be most impacted and not businesses because you show the priority will your opinion will your recommendation change if perhaps something were to change if perhaps let's say for example if i say that businesses other businesses the customers of ff will be the most impacted xyz and then i related with suppliers as well and perhaps then i write perhaps if employ if the customers in general are very well uh, aware about the climate change and have and ha there's a shift towards green consumerism consumer preferring green materials as in uh, environmentally friendly materials so businesses may not be impacted that much so my recommendation may be different if circumstances were to change that is another good step to showcase your evaluation i hope this helps thank you so much and happy learning